Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. This is Rob and today's video is going to be on replacing these, uh, well I just have one more to go, uh, one more drive in this PowerEdge R310. Um, so we have four two terabyte drives in RAID 10. And the reason I'm doing this is because when I initially set this up a couple years ago, I, uh, I had two uh, Western Digital uh, Enterprise drives and then just went to Best Buy and then I picked up uh, two more of these uh, Western Digital Blue drives. So I thought that today I would swap them out with um, Enterprise drives like this one right here. So I buy these things on eBay because that's the cheapest place to get them. And uh, when I get them, I got this thing uh, from Amazon. It's basically just a, uh, it's a hard drive enclosure that works with uh, two and a half inch, three and a half inch drives. And I will, uh, or when these drives come in, I will take them and I will stick them in here, hook them up, plug them into the computer, and then I just used, uh, uh, I used Crystal Disk Info to just verify that everything is good uh, beforehand. So I've already done that. And, uh, I'll typically just print out a piece of paper like this. It just has everything so I remember which is which. And uh, put them, uh, put them uh, in storage until they're needed. Until now, because I still have to swap out the last Western Digital Blue. Anyways, for anybody that's interested in how the process goes in replacing a drive in a an enterprise class server. I'm gonna show you how to do that. So I believe we're looking at, so like right now, this, this is, this one is a Western Digital Enterprise Drive. This one is the same. And then I believe this is the next one that would be uh, Western Digital Blue. So I think this is the one we need to replace. But before I go uh, doing anything foolish, I'm gonna go over here where I'm already remote desktop into the server where I have the uh, Dell SAS RAID storage manager open. This is, this is the one that uh, I just replaced. The next one is also a Western Digital Enterprise Drive. And boom, here we go. So this is that other Western Digital Blue. And then the last one is Western Digital Enterprise. So what I wanna do is get this last Western Digital Blue drive out of there. But before I do anything, I'm going to right click here and then I'm going to go to locate physical drive just to make sure. And so we see that this one right here is blinking. So at this point, I'm going to, before I remove it, I'm going to take the, because I just got additional, uh, I just received additional drive caddies in the mail today. Uh, so I'm going to take this thing, this Western Digital Enterprise, stick it in here. So that way I can just immediately swap it out after I take it offline. And then uh, keep my fingers crossed because everything is fine with the uh, the RAID 10 array. And so me doing this just because I feel like I'm being a glutton for punishment, but I just, I don't want those Western Digital Blue Drives in there anymore. So anyways, I'm gonna try to do this with uh, one hand Shoot. 
All right, so I'm gonna cut this part out and because uh, I'm incapable of doing this with one hand and then uh, we'll be back in a second. All right, so there we go. We have it uh, fastened into the uh, drive caddy right now. And uh, I know what you guys are thinking. Oh, he dropped it. He's irresponsible with his hard drives. It's like, no, that is not the case. I uh, normally very careful with this stuff. I just normally don't film everything that I do. So anyways, we have this ready to go. Um, now there's some controversy over just pulling it out or if you should, uh, if you should uh, make the drive offline first. So as far as I know, the best bet is to offline the drive first because it is, you, if you just pull it when the drive is still, like if, so let, actually let me back up here. If this drive was bad, it would already be offline and then you would just pull it out and swap it in. And then uh, depending on your rate card, it, probably do an automatic rebuild like in the case of this this is a perk a uh perk h700 um <clears throat> but when the drive is not actually bad you probably want to make it offline first because then you uh run the least risk of something becoming corrupted or something like that so anyways that's what i'm gonna do right click it i'm gonna stop locating physical drive and then i'm going to select make drive offline. And then now we have some warnings. So this will make the physical drive offline. Are you sure? Confirm. Yes. And then it is advisable to back up data before this operation. Are you ready? Yes, I have backed everything up. So we're gonna go with yes. And Yep, there we go. So the drive is now offline. The virtual disk is now degraded. And so let's go over here, pull this thing out. And you see that now it's uh, blinking amber. These are pretty good drives for personal computers, but not so much for servers. Let's take this other Western Digital Enterprise drive, slap it in here. And the, uh, the rebuild process should start immediately. So, in there? why does that button feel weird? Okay, I guess it's just me. She's fine. All right. So let me go back over to the computer and, oh, okay, actually beforehand. Uh, yeah, so we see, there we go. Okay, so it's pretty obvious it's rebuilding. So like I said, this is, uh, this is RAID 10. So Basically, this is uh, this is RAID one, RAID one, and then RAID zero across those uh, these mirrored sets. So, this drive being rebuilt is going to essentially just get all of the uh, the data from this drive over here. Hopefully, this little guy's not on his last leg. Otherwise, we're gonna have problems. All right, so let's go over here and uh, double check, make sure everything is as it should be. So we do see that we removed the drive. And uh, let me just uh, rescan this really quick. Takes a second here. And then we see that this drive right here is in the uh, rebuild state. So it's pulling everything off of this drive right here, rebuilding that one. So let's go ahead and go up to uh, group operations, uh, show progress. And yep, we're at 0% of course. And uh, oh, there we go. 
So yeah, it looks like uh, four hours and 10 minutes remaining. Stepped out for a little bit today, came back, she's all finished. So no more Western Digital Blues, and there will never be another Western Digital Blue in this thing ever again. Well, we're not gonna talk about what's in the uh, R610, but uh, stay tuned because uh, that's coming next. I might, uh, might switch it over to SSDs. I'm not sure yet. We'll see what happens.